Hi, this is Scott, and I am not finding rocks today. I am cleaning rocks. So I'm going to take Graves Mountain um, uh, Turgite, which is like iridescent hematite. I'm going to take that that I found at Graves Mountain, see if I can brighten up the colors on them. Uh, here's a, an example of one that I found that somebody did that was kind of surprising. Now, if you're wanting to know why that the color changed so much, um, what I hear is that there's a thin layer of aluminum over a lot of these uh, pieces. Not on all of them. We'll try to take some of the pieces I found. I'm kind of excited about this. I want to see what we can find if we have any color that wants to pop out. What we're using here is aluminum brightener. It can be found at Napa Auto Parts. Um, <clears throat> and what I found was off of Amazon. After you're done with it, you want to neutralize it with baking soda before you uh, dump it. So you need to make sure you take a lot of precautions for yourself for the surrounding area. We're going to go through here and pick out a few uh, that I have. Um, they have, have decent color on them. You know, maybe I'll try maybe not some of the best ones first time. So here's what I have the first time. The colors aren't popping off of them. Some of them like this one don't have any color. We'll try to see what happens after a couple hours. Okay, here's the uh, here's the aluminum brightener, Dura gloss that I bought. I'm gonna use this glove. And I'm going to put these pieces in here. Then put the lid on to protect from protect our animals. <clears throat> Almost looks like no change from before on these. Okay, after round three, the Let's take a look at the results here. Some of them I feel like they lost some of the surface dark spots so maybe I kept it in too long. Here's one that has color. Maybe the color got a little bit better marginally. This one also had some color to begin with. This one had probably the best color to begin with. Also, not sure that there's a lot of difference. Again, I think I'm gonna to wanna to just keep them in, I think I wanna keep them in less time next time. This one, I think the surface got cleaned a lot. And you see some of the kyanite. So let's try another batch for a couple hours. These are a couple from the first batch. After they've dried off for a while, I, I feel like I've seen a noticeable increase in color. A lot of increase. It takes a little while to dry and then they start see, seeing the color after it dries. And they might have a little more of an oily look to them after, they, after they've been cleaned like this. So you may or may not like that. Okay, this time I'm going to try a lot of pieces at once. Now that I've tried a few, I want to be careful not to take them, leave them in too long. 
Some of these do not have very much color. Some have decent color, but they aren't bright. So I'm hoping at least one of these will get a better outlook for. I'm hoping one of these will be really good. This one also obviously has a lot of good color already. Hopefully it will brighten up a little bit more. I also will try a few of these larger pieces, a few of these larger specimens here. They have a little bit of color. Let's see how they turn out. This is the mega batch after one dip. And after this is also after I let it dry overnight. So this one really that one right there that that is really blue. I think these are turning out pretty good. Let's do another dip with these. Okay, I'm going to rinse these off one more time and then let them dry, but I can already tell on some of these the color has really changed and brightened up a lot. So I'm excited to see how they look when they dry up. Now these, some of these that have a thin layer of the black on the quartz with the color, I feel like if you leave them in the leave them in too long in the solution they're gonna take away that black like this one if you leave it in the solution too long I think it's going to just take that's that whole layer off same with this one okay this is after I let them dry overnight and I'm not gonna run them through another uh, cleaning so they these only went through two soaks for two hours each. I feel like their color has changed some but a few changed a lot more. This one is really bright now. A lot of change on it so I would say a few few of the pieces did get a lot brighter and a lot of them just got a little brighter if they got brighter at all this one I was hoping it would get more bright I feel like it ended up more with an oily look to it though I would try to find more that look like this next time but I think I probably picked up any that I saw that looked like this anyway since they were really really neat but now it has a lot more color showing this one I feel like looks a lot better So, here's what the acid looks like. I'm wearing my ventilator, my gloves. So I'm gonna take some baking soda and pour it in there. Okay, I'm going to let this mix up and sit. And then uh, probably my last step will be to pour it over the ashes in the outdoor fire, plate, fire pit to, to finish the cleaning off. 
Okay, the reaction has stopped. Just to check on it, we add a little bit more. It's still reactive, so you want to like use a whole lot more baking soda until it stops reacting. Then you can dispose of it.